hi guys welcome back to my channel so in the previous video we have created a DynamoDB table using AWS command line interface but in the previous video we have created a provisioned capacity DynamoDB table but we have not created on demand capacity table so this is a student table if you just click on this here we will know what is the capacity mode whether it is provisioned or whether it is on demand provisioned means there is some limit in read capacity units and write capacity units and on demand is its pay on usage means as soon as as much as you use that much you will pay so that is a on demand mode so in this video we will create a on demand mode table with using aws command line interface so in the previous video we have used one command i will just show you that command which command we have used to create that dino that student table what we was seeing so this is a command aws dynamo db we we told just create a table and we have given all the information of the table table name attribute definitions like student name and subject name whether it is which data type string then key schema we have mentioned what is the partition key and what is the sort key and we have given the tags and if you see here we have mentioned this table create it as a provisioned throughput and we have mentioned what is the capacity so now we will remove this provisioned and we will add we will create on demand table so we just need to remove this provisioned throughput line and we need to add one more line called billing mode so just just enter control c then we'll just copy the one which we need So if you check here the difference between the previous command and this we are given table name as same attribute definitions as same key schema same tags are same but here we have removed the provisioned throughput and we have kept billing mode as pay per request so this will automatically create a dynamo db table on a on demand capacity so here we have already created a student table which is saying the provision let's delete it and create again using the command so now that the table is getting deleted now it's got deleted let's run this command so then now table again is getting created these are the attribute definitions this is the student partition key sort key the status is it's getting created and now if you see provisioned throughput we have not given because it is not provisioned it is a billing mode we have given the billing mode as pay per request now let's go to the account and let's refresh it see if you see now the table got created with on demand capacity previously it was provisioned now it is on demand if you just click on that again the capacity mode is on demand so all other information will be available additional settings if you see the tags we have mentioned in the command line interface So this is how we will create a DynamoDB table, on demand DynamoDB table using the AWS command line interface. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and share to your friends. Thank you for watching.